Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Now today's topic of discussion is on MCQ, the question in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now question is, which of the tri-substituted phenol is maximum acidic? So four options are provided. So remember student, whenever the ask question of acidity appears, means you need to think about the proton releasing capability. And who can release proton? Obviously, for them, the remaining anionic part is more stable. I mean, if the anionic part is more stable, then the proton release will be more facile and the anionic part is called as conjugate base. So stability of conjugate base is actually responsible for their acidity. By the way, first compound name is trimethylphenol or 2,4,6-trimethylphenol. So I am drawing here the conjugate base structure. Now, if you look at methyl group, methyl group provide plus I effect or you can say hyperconjugation, both. So here it's a donating. So now if the benzene nucleus get more electron density from methyl groups, will it like to accept more from this oxygen minus phenoxide? No. So its stability is relatively less. Next. So similarly, this is the phenoxide obtained from 2, 4, 6 trifluorophenol. Here, fluorine exerts minus I effect. Actually, fluorine has both plus R effect also because the three lone pair present in each atom can be donated to this benzene nucleus. But for case of halogens, minus I is dominated over its plus R effect. So similar thing you can expect for this trichlorophenol also. So here, same explanation is applicable for 246 trichlorophenol too. And the final one here, this is the picric acid. The conjugate base of picric acid looks like this. Now actually, the actual question asked here, stability of conjugate base, means this phenoxide here. So as I told, in case of methyl plus I effect, in case of fluorine, minus I dominated plus R. And obviously, in case of this picric acid conjugate base, both minus I and minus R. So this nitro, electron withdrawing minus I minus R effect. So here you can see, say that CB is most stable among these four. So that's why this is student most acidic. Okay. So now here, this is the answer who is maximum acidic. Obviously, picric acid is maximum acidic. Let's get some value, numerical. So pKa value. Remember one statement, lesser the pKa, higher the acidity. Okay, so pKa value lesser means it's strong acid. So look at here, this 246 trimethylphenol, pKa 11. Next example, fluorophenol, pKa 6.32. Chloro trichlorophenol, pKa 5.99. And picric acid 0.38, student, it is far more acidic. Even if I say carboxylic acid like acetic acid, acetic acid pKa is 4.74. So if you compare this, this P Greek acid is far more acidic than acetic acid. That's why this tri 246 tri is called as P Greek acid. Its behavior is not like phenol, like acids. That's why it's P Greek acid. Now, here a simple question you may think that, sir, why this fluoro, trifluoro derivative is lesser acidic compared to trichloro derivative? Or you can ask another question, why Parachlorophenol is more acidic than parachlorophenol because according to the electronegativity concept, chlorine has in, have more electronegativity, so its electron withdrawing effect is more compared to chlorine. It's true, but chlorine has another phenomenon. Student, chlorine can stabilize this conjugate base. How? It can push. It can go. It can come. So I can draw the canonical form in this way. So this is. So no minus, minus charge is in delocalization, this is. Now we'll be a little shocked, why sir? Actually this chlorine has vacant 3D orbital, which can help to stabilize the extra electron density arises on the conjugate base. So that delocalization makes this conjugate base more stable. By the way, that is not possible for fluorine because there is no such kind of 2D orbital. So not possible, fluorine is a second row element. So now, 
maximum acidic you understand so what is the order obviously from this value also you can say this option d is faster than option c which is faster than obviously option b and later on option a so this is the order of the acidity and today's our question answer is this one so student this is the end of discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye